I'm Patrick Emerson, I work for Finning UK, I'm a Territory Sales Rep. I've been working on Arsco's account for approximately 20 years now, covering all the sites in our region. They approached me in 2013 to ask if we could actually put a, an excavator together on remote control, basically replacing the older 318s. 316 lent itself to that quite well. We, we got and did the first one. Lads in workshop, very comfortable with the situation now and this is the machine you see now which is fully remote with the operator working quite happily about 20 metres or so away from it. I'm Ryan Spolin, I'm a workshop engineer here at Finning Leeds. My involvement in the project was um, custom fitting the remote control system to the machine and integrating all the extra functions that the customer required. The remote control system has been integrated into the machine via an electro-hydraulic pilot valve that's been teed into between the cab side of the pilot valves. That's fed through the remote control uh, receiver which uh, receives signals from the remote control unit. It was a privilege to begin with last year to be asked to do this project. Uh, very proud of the two machines and the outcome. The actual application that the machine is used for is emptying ladles of molten steel. The, the brick lined and they get congealed with the steel in the brickwork. That has to be cleaned so this machine wrecks that. Because of the depth of the port we've had to cut and extend the stick much longer. The operator works the machine, drives it if you like, from approximately 20-30 metres away in a safe area with bespoke clothing on for the heat. He has an harness on so he can't possibly fall. He can look into the pot, clean it all out and when he's finished he can just walk away nicely. The other features of this machine is it has to have a fire suppression system on just in case it could catch fire. As you can see it's got an additional cab guard various other modifications we do to it. All the hoses are wrapped in fireproof wrapping. We could do a bespoke remote control like this for other industries, demolition in particular, where if they're knocking a building down and it's dangerous for the height, it can be also done from a ground level. I'm Danny Avison, I'm the workshop supervisor at Finnings Leeds Depot. With this, uh, this particular remote control system, we, we were confident we could uh, give them the the system they needed and wanted. The first one took about a month to get through prep um, that was because it was all prototype, it was all new, there was a lot of planning went into the first one. Uh, the second one, because of our experience with the first one, it took half the time. As an ex-field engineer, you uh, doing the electrical side of it, it was something I was very enthusiastic about uh, for the planning side of it, to get it to integrate with the CAT systems and to be able to control them the same as you can with the CAT systems. And Patrick came to us with a, with a problem that he needed a remote control excavator. Us as a workshop got together, went through the wiring, the schematics, got a plan together and uh, because of our relationship with Patrick we were confident we could go back to him and get him a solution. Uh, we've, we're all very pleased here in Leeds to build another bespoke excavator for Harsco. Uh, that's one of the reasons they approached us in the first instance. We've done a lot of, uh, again, bespoke work for them, not just the run-of-the-mill wheel loaders and excavators. We were a natural choice here at Finning for them to approach us and we've gone on from there.